So good evening everyone and welcome to another edition of Football Family Feuds and it's official Boris Johnson has announced that the country is in shutdown. Yes, so you have to stay indoors, no going out unless it's essential for shopping or you work for one of the emergency services or somewhere as a truck driver or something where you need to go out. But apart from that, everyone else has to stay indoors you can, you're allowed to go out to do exercise and you're also allowed to go out to do essential shopping. And that doesn't mean like a thousand people uh, going to Tesco's tomorrow to buy up all the goods because that will defeat the purpose. So the police are going to be there guarding everyone. So, but I'm not here to talk about the shutdown. I'm here to talk about football. So you're going to be bored nothing to do. Um, EastEnders has been cut down to once a week. I heard they're going to be suspending Coronation Street for all those who watch that. No football on the TV as that's um, already been locked down. So um, what better to do than watch some fresh content on YouTube. So guys, like, subscribe, turn on all post notifications so you'll be notified of whenever I make a new video and you can enjoy the content that is coming your way. So today I am talking about two players and quite frankly one of them I wish we were on a permanent lockdown rather than getting this player and sorry Declan Rice but I'm talking about you. Um, yes we've been linked with Declan Rice today and um, Chelsea are looking for a holding midfielder they say and Declan Rice is the player that they've identified to come into the team. Declan Rice used to play for Chelsea um, as a youth, I think he was here till he was 13 or 14. Then he was released by the club, went on to make a name for himself at West Ham. Um, played, did well for West Ham, but I think that's kind of his level. Um, decent olden player, but I don't think he's what Chelsea need at the moment. Uh, the only reason we're getting him is because he's a really good friend of Mason Mount. But apart from that... I think we have enough cover in that area um, and I don't think we should be spending the amount of money on Declan Rice when there's other areas in, on the pitch that need strengthening. Declan Rice won't come cheap. A, he's English. B, he plays in the Premier League. He's an England international and whenever you're English, you always there's always a premium. So you're always paying over the odds. And I think... Uh, what we'll be looking at was probably nothing shy of £50 million to get him. And come on now, we've got, what, £200 million to spend, they all figures say. Are we going to really waste £50 million on Declan Rice? And if we do, why? And come on, I've had a lot of faith in the club recently after the sign of Ziyech. Um, please, if, I think if we sign Declan Rice, that's going to be another sort of Danny Drinkwater type signing for me. Um, definitely the car is not better than what we have at present. Uh, we've got Billy Gilmore coming through the ranks. We've got uh, Nathan Ampadu, who's on loan. He's another one who can play in the holding midfielder role. So we've got two young players who are rearing and ready to go. We've got Kovovic there. We've got Jorginho there. Um, although I think Jorginho is probably going to go at the end of the season. And there are other players like um, Milinkovic, Savic or players like that who I feel will be better off for us. Samari as well. He's another one who's probably better than Declan Rice and they'll come at a cheaper price as well. So for me... Declan Rice is a no-no. I don't want him at the club. Thank you very much. Um, and so uh, tell me what you think. Do you think that he'll be a good buy or do you think that we can do better? Do you think money can be, money can be spent elsewhere? Uh, the other player that we have been interested in, uh, interested in is uh, Ben Chilwell. And so the, in today's reports, it says Chelsea are getting increasingly confident of buying Ben Chilwell and the player is favouring a move. He's, he's open to a move to Chelsea. So both parties want the deal done. So it looks like something may be happening uh, there as well. Uh, so again, going to Ben Chilwell, 
I, I don't mind him as a player. I think he's a decent player. He, he's, he had a great beginning to uh, the season at Leicester. He's tailed off a bit. Maybe he's played too many games. Um, not as effective as he was at the beginning of the season, but still uh, good. But for me, the caveat for me is, will I be prepared to spend the quoted figure? Uh, 80 million was the last I heard that his value, his valuation was. And for me, for 80 million pounds, no, 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 no. Uh, Tellers, 30 million is for, is a better value for money than spending 80 million. If we can get Chilwell for around about the 40 million mark, then I'll say, yeah, I don't mind it. But anything more than 40 million, steer clear. Again, can't be wasting money. We spend 50, 90 million on rice and chill well that doesn't leave a lot in the coffers for a stellar signing like a sancho and so yeah i can't see i can't see that happening if it's going to be that amount of money uh comparing the two as i said tellers for me is the better player more experienced player and um he fits, suits our style of play better than Chilwell. Uh, Chilwell gets a lot of crosses in on that side. He's pretty pacey. Defensively, he's still got a bit of work to do, but he's young. He's, what, 21? So he's still got room for improvement. And in three or four years' time, can he become that top uh, left back with a bit of train, with a bit of uh, good coaching and better players around him? Possibly. And English core, so we're looking at an English core now with him and Rice. And we're going to have quite a lot of English players if, if, if those two do join. So guys, out of the two, who would you prefer? Would you prefer Ben Chilwell or would you prefer Tellers? Let me know in the comments section below. And I'd like to say, guys, apologies. In my video yesterday, I kept referring to... Uh, Donna Rumor as Dunarama for some reason. I don't know why. You know when you've got it in your head and you're just mentioning a name and it just sticks with you. And then after I'm doing the editing, I'm thinking, what have I done? His name is Donna Rumor. So I do know his name, guys, but it was one of those brain fart moments where I just uh, got his name wrong. Uh, so I'll try to be do, uh, do more videos to keep you guys entertained over the next few days because I know it's going to be a challenging time for all of us as we are stuck at home. Please follow the rules because the government are doing this for a reason. They're doing this to keep us safe. They want us to stay safe. And so the quicker we fight this thing, the quicker we can get back to going out there and enjoying the game we love. Another story with regards to the football, there are rumours going around today as well that um, because the uh, pandemic is hitting London the most in England, if the season was to resume, they're talking about the end of June now, or the, yeah, June, then they're saying that a lot of the uh, London teams will have to play their remaining matches outside of London. So I don't know how that's going to work. that will be a serious disadvantage to us. With nine games left, um, if we can't play any games at Stamford Bridge, then um, this, I don't know what this is going to be affect us greatly because, as I said, we're only three points behind ahead of Manchester United. So I hope that's not the case. I hope that's just a rumour. And uh, I want to see us play our remaining games at Stamford Bridge or even behind closed doors if necessary. Uh, but let me know, guys, what sort of videos you want me to do as well, because I'll want to do some videos about how why I started supporting Chelsea, maybe give you my best Chelsea 11 as well, and just some other videos. So if you've got any ideas in mind so anything you want me to cover just let me know and i will try and my best to uh, put those videos out there for you so don't forget guys to stay safe and always remember don't go out on this um, in, in more than twos and just go out to do your essential shopping go out to do your exercise apart from that follow the rules 
Um, so don't forget guys, like, subscribe and turn on all post notifications and I will see you on that next video. And remember, keep that blue flag flying eye and it's not long before we can fight this thing and get back to playing football. So have a great evening or if I post this tomorrow morning or whatever. So take care guys and I'll see you later. Bye bye.